Yeah, it's running. You're gonna be doing crazy things. Freaks and geeks. What what? Molly D. I feel like y'all gonna break out tonight. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Freaks and Geeks Radio. I'm Zing and I'm here with Molly D. And we're going to interview her today. We missed her at UMD's homecoming last month in October. It's eight dollars on the one and you know I get it done. Ain't doing this for fun, man. I'm doing this for fun. Got a mission to be greater. Motherfucker hate it cuz when I make it big, but they the ones congratulating. Super duper fly. Pterodactyl swag and I'm super duper high. Got a party in my bag. So we finally got to catch up with it with her today. Um, so since UMD's homecoming, mm -hmm. what have you been up to? I have been up to all the beside the beside behind the scenes work. Um, I've been in band practice. I've been in the studio getting ready for Molly's Modern Life to come out. So basically, just recording really and um, planning shoots, interviews. So. so Molly's Modern Life is the new project that's coming up. Let's talk yeah. about your old project, um, Orange Line. How did you come up with that name, and what is what are some of the favorite songs on that um, project? Orange Line actually came from I went to school at, at the Art Institute of Washington in Roslyn, and um, being on the Orange Line, I lived in New Carrollton at the beginning of the Orange Line, so I had to take the forty-five minute ride all the way to Roslyn every day, <laughs> which is where I listened to beats. I started writing. Um, I started thinking about concepts for songs and really planning everything out how I wanted to do stuff. And uh, that's where it came from, so that's what I called it. And uh, my favorite tracks, of course, um, Break Down, the first single, and the first song I ever released as a solo artist, um, Homage, which is the second single, and Keep On Rolling Up, which is the first song that I wrote for the project, and then Perfect Angel, which is featuring my real-life boyfriend. And we came up with that together, and it was epic. <laughs> so the next project mm -hmm. is... Molly's Modern Life. Yep. Tell us about what we can expect from that project. Is it still debuting on New Year's Day 2012? And how is it going to be different from Orange Line? It's still debuting on New Year's Day. We're going to do a listening party for it on New Year's Eve. Well, not a listening party, a release party on um, New Year's Eve. And Molly's Modern Life is basically playing Walker's Modern Life, which is one of my favorite Nickelodeon cartoon shows. I am a huge 90s Nickelodeon fanatic <laughs> to the day I die. Um... It's basically new concepts on new music concepts, new um, beat, new sound and beats, new uh, features. I'm bringing a lot of new artists or artists that are good at what they do, but they're not necessarily pursuing rapping or singing right now. But they do it for me, yeah. so like I bring them in and do stuff. So it's like hit and crank that nobody really knows a name. So it's just modern life, new modern thinking, new modern ways to look at things, and that's how we're gonna take it with the whole concept. Okay. Who would you say are some of your favorite artists? Um, who do you like to listen to? What CDs are in your car right now? Currency, 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 Spitter. He is in my, I have a whole mix. I have all his mixtapes to date. That Jet World Order is coming out November 29th. I am Jet Live. I need it what? ASAP. But um, <laughs> Currency is definitely my favorite. I get a lot of my influence from him, from his hooks to his, his storytelling ability. I don't think a lot of people catch how good he is at what he's done and how far he's come. But um, Currency is definitely one. Um, I get a lot of inspiration from Lauren Hill, um, Erica Badu, of course. I've seen her a couple times. Um, as far as guys go, I would say Big Crit is definitely, I've been listening to him a lot. I love Big Crit. Um, Ziggy Marley, Bob Marley. I saw Ziggy Marley last week at the Fillmore. Amazing, amazing band as well. So. That whole feel, that whole live band feel, that groove feel, I love from them. I actually take a lot of influence from old school. I love a lot of old school stuff, a lot of old school samples, stuff like that. And of course, um, Nicki Minaj. Everybody asks since I'm a female yeah. rapper, do you like Nicki Minaj? <laughs> I love Nicki Minaj. I have loved Nicki Minaj since Sucker Free, since Playtime is over. I absolutely love where she's come, and I am Team Minaj. <laughs> okay. 
So, speaking of other artists, what do you consider yourself? Do you consider yourself a rapper, a hip hop lyricist, an R and B singer? Because you do sing. Mm -hmm. I would say just an overall artist. I mean, I hate when people say R and B. Like my uh, my Tim Bali player always says, "Yeah, my R and B band." I'm like, Look, we are not R and B. <laughs> we are just something. I haven't even figured out the name yet. I will have it soon. We will brand that. But um, just an artist. I love rapping. I love singing. Um, I was a singer first. And um, Gogo actually brought out my flow, brought out, started me off rapping as far as getting my flow together, doing other hooks from other songs. And then I started writing after that. And then I started rapping. But I mean, I love equally both. It depends on the beat, whether I rap or sing, just whatever makes good music. So, Okay. Okay, so we are Freaks and Geeks Radio. And we define geeks as a person with an eccentric devotion to a particular interest. So I have to ask you, what type of geek are you? Like a sneaker geek, a hip hop geek, cartoon geek? <laughs> I am the biggest gamer geek ever. All my friends, all my family always tells me this. I am a huge Grand Theft Auto fan. Um, Grand Theft Auto 5 that's coming out, the whole the trailer, just hearing the trailer just boosted yeah. my whole week. <laughs> forget an Ambition album, Talib Kweli album, forget that. I wanted to see that trailer. Even though it was all of two minutes, I'm still excited. <laughs> Um, the new Mario Kart 7 that's coming out. I love, I still have my Nintendo 64 and I still play it. I don't care about the graphics. I love Nintendo 64. I don't care about the graphics. I love it. And I'm also, I would say, a cartoon geek. I love 90s Nickelodeon. I watch Phineas and Ferb if it comes on 3 million yes. times. I watch Phineas and Ferb all day. I know the songs. I know everything. And SpongeBob, all that. I don't care. So, cartoons, games, that's all me all day. Well, thank you for allowing us to interview you. Thanks for you. having me. Um, yeah, go ahead. And, um, I guess a shout out to my sponsors, Demeanor Clothing. You can follow them at Demeanor, D-E-M-E-A-N-R. And that's um, Demeanor.com as well. Shout out to Julian. Shout out to John. Um, you can follow me at It's Me, Marley D. Shout out to my band. Shout out to all. Everybody who's been showing me love so far. Winter Circle. We're going to go ahead and do that. Thanks to Freaks and Geeks Radio, ladies. I yes. love to see ladies do their thing. So, who runs the world? We're going to keep doing it. <laughs> Girls. Okay. <laughs> um, thanks again. This is uh, Freaks and Geeks Radio signing off with It's Marley D. Um, back to you. <laughs>